How about it for him? The old boomerang cue card trick. Speaking of lingerie, my next guest uh, has her bra permanently in the Fredericks of Hollywood Hall of Fame. She'll tell us about that, I'm sure. She plays Peg Bundy on the hit series Married with Children. And here's Peg checking the want ads to find a second job for her husband, Al. Sandy? Mm, sperm donors. <laughs> Oops, they want someone with experience. <laughs> You know, I have a friend that runs a pit bull training school. Does Al have a protective cup? <laughs> what for? <laughs> I'll put it down as a maybe. Yeah, well, think about it. He could work his way up to the guy with the tranquilizer gun. Mm, I don't know. Al's aim isn't very good. You've seen our bathroom. <laughs> And your children. Katie Sagan. The success of this show has just gone out of hand. It's it crazy. really has. You better be careful with your lingerie out here. You never know what could happen. <laughs> what is the deal with your bra? Uh, well, <laughs> it's uh, in the Fredericks of Hollywood Bra Hall of Fame. Beats me, you know. Uh, that's just something that they decided to do, and there it is. I haven't visited it since uh, they opened it. Yeah. Any particular reason why your bra was chosen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming that... Uh, we were getting good response to, to some part of my anatomy. Yeah. I, I assume, you know, that's why I, I, I guess it's there. Okay, I, I just... I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Because you, you, what, what kind of bra do you wear on that show? Isn't it a little more, like, like pointed than normal? I mean, it's like... <laughs> Is it, you know? No, actually, uh, well, we did do some of those at first, and she's kind of evolved into... She seems to be showing a little bit more lately, so... We have a, more of a form-fitting. So do we have to talk about bras? Okay, or we, can, oh, we can go to I, something else. I don't really know what to say about them. <laughs> Other than the, the bra, um, uh -huh. what reasons <laughs> <laughs> for the success? I mean, the show has done... It's a Fox show. Right. And it's doing incredibly well against the networks. Yes, it is. We've beat all three of them uh, for quite a few weeks now. I think, basically, you know, our show is funny. And that's the main thing, and that's all we wanted to do, and that's all anyone's trying to do on our show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the promise of Fox was alternative programming. So we're also trying to take it out a little bit, which we do. And I believe, I think that we say all the things that people uh, think about in some deep cor corners of their minds and don't really want to say. Mm -hmm. Which is, that's kind of why comedy seems to work anyway. Oh, yeah. It always hits that funny bone. So I believe it's just doing so well because we're funny. I mean, we've just... And climbing we're like the little show that that could you know yeah and, and how about there, there are a few bumbleheads <clears throat> yeah that are obviously giving you a hard time this lady in Michigan mm -hmm. I don't know how one lady <laughs> can make so much noise yeah, and be so obnoxious but what is the deal with this well first of all I really believe that everybody's entitled to their opinions mm -hmm. I think that uh, that's one of the blessings of living in America Hopefully. Mm -hmm. And um, she's certainly entitled to, to not like our show. However, I don't think that any, uh, you know, there's a lot of channels. F uh, art is about freedom of expression, mm -hmm. you know, in any form. And yes. who's to say what, what should and what shouldn't, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, my only response to her really is to just, you know, do something else with her time. And she, she claims, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, she claims that she can't monitor her children. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, she doesn't have to watch. Yeah. She doesn't have to watch. She claims that she has no uh, control over what her children watch, which I think is the responsibility of every parent. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blue television, you yeah. know, there just is. So she feels the show is too blue? Yeah, that's the impression I get. She doesn't like, she finds us offensive. But our ratings have been zooming since all this hubbub, so obviously uh, America doesn't mind being offended if that's what's going on, you know? Yeah. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, That's what I think. Because she has so many channels and she can. Yeah, she turn. can push the button. Yes. Read a book. We'll, we'll take a commercial. We'll come back with a more pleasant topic. <laughs>
Okay. okay. We'll be That's right back with Katie Sagan. <laughs> talked about the show let's talk about before the show a lot of people don't know you were a singer and still am a singer really that's really my background I um, I started in music and uh, traveled on the road for years and had bands and I made a record and tried to keep making records and yeah and then I just sort of fell into this door here so uh, so you so had no desire to act well uh, I think I thought about it maybe I would do it later and I found that I had sort of a natural gift for it and I got work at it you know so uh, now it's, it's, it's a new joy of mine. I'm really enjoying it. So you will probably now use your spotlight to uh, yes. enhance your music. It's actually, you know, when you finally can stop uh, struggling for five seconds, it's, uh, your creativity is allowed more freedom, I mm -hmm. find, you know. And suddenly there's other areas that I can go in and there's a joy about them that mm -hmm. might have been getting lost as I was struggling. So yeah, now I'm singing, I'm playing tomorrow night here in Los Angeles at the Club Lingerie, if anybody wants to come. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I'm, and I'm trying to get a record deal and do that So stuff. you feel you're, you're better now that you're secure and uh, successful, I mean, you're artistically as a vocalist? Artistically, I am uh, having more fun, mm -hmm. and which consequently I think always makes you better. You know, when you're not so worried about what everybody's thinking and the result all the time, you know. Paying the bills. Yeah, and paying the bills. And, you know, of course, we all want to reap benefits from our work, but it's, it's just different now, you know. It's what I originally, I sang for joy originally, and mm -hmm. now that's what I'm doing again. Yeah. Which is nice. You uh, worked with Bette Midler for a while. For years. I was a harlot. I was in electric wheelchairs and mermaid And the mermaid fins. outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Rolled around on the ground. And, and uh... That was, that was my education, really, working with Bed. I'd never worked with... She's an amazing woman mm -hmm. and a hard worker. Mm -hmm. And I really learned about working hard in that situation. And unlike in many acts, the background singers with Bet get to really stand out a lot. Stand out and be a bit theatrical. So I think it all sort of parlayed into where I am now. Yeah, that was really a full... You know, you had to sing and dance and act and be, uh, be wild. It was great. It was a great experience. What kind of kid were you? Did you, uh, did you get in all the school plays and sing in the choir? And... You know, I actually did. I think my, uh, I found my self-esteem in those areas. You know, adolescence is kind of rough for all of us. And I found my niche there, so I was. I, I actually was in a band. That's what I did when I was 14. And I had sort of a group of hoodlums, and I liked them. Well, but we played music together, so yeah. I did that. Where are you from? I'm from here, born and raised. Hollywood kid. Big family? Big family, five kids, and uh, my father was a director, and my mother was uh, a writer and a director. And so I kind of grew up around all this, which is, uh, it's nice to have grown up around it. you have any kids? No. You don't? No. You've been married? Yes, I was married. Uh, when I was 21, I was married for three years. Didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> but I may try it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to give it another shot. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, it's much better in your 30s. Yeah, and now you're bronze in the Hall 30s. of Fame, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I should get married now, yeah. you got to go for it. What's, what's the hardest part of uh, doing a weekly series? The hardest part? Yeah. Um, it's interesting. What I've been finding lately is there's a mental strain that goes on, and you play the same character week after week, and suddenly you sort of forget which door you're walking through, from which episode, from which attitude, and, and it kind of all molds together. That's what I'm finding mm -hmm. um, the most strenuous about it. Basically, our set is a gas. Mm -hmm. our, our show is as funny in the working days as it is when it goes on the air. And everybody's really great, and they're inspiring to me. I learn from all of them all the time. Maybe that's why it's successful, because you guys have fun. We have fun, and there's not a lot of... of uh, I was going to say a bad word, but I won't say it. We'll find There's a not a lot of word. ego weird stuff going on. Yeah. You know? Yeah, everybody's so. kind of down to earth. Yeah. You know, nice. we're, yeah. Well, we're all enjoying it. Thanks. And thanks for stopping thanks by. Thanks for saying Thanks for Thanks a lot. We'll be back with the Hitman in a minute. <laughs>